Hi, this is a fourth section of our Finding Anomalies in our Data course. In this section, we'll be looking at ways of how to find anomalies in data using graphs. So we'll be looking at the graph data for anomaly detection, because graph is a perfect structure to model some networks or some behaviors and find anomaly in that behaviors and networks. We will be analyzing edges and vertices to find an anomaly in data. We will be traversing graph and finding connected components. And this is a first video in our fourth section. And this video will be looking at the graph data for anomaly detection. So we want to answer a question, why graphs are good for finding patterns? And how to find an anomaly in graph? and also how to use connected components to find a group of outliers. So how to use graph to detect anomaly? We know that graph contains vertices and edges. And as we can see on this picture, we see that there are vertex in different colors. So for example, there is a vertex in color red, blue, green, and purple. And we can have graph that depicts some network. Let's say that this is a social network and red vertex symbolize some company. Blue vertex symbolize some person that is well known. Green, it should be normal person that is a male and red and purple is a normal person that is a woman. We can have some rules like for example, the company, red one, could have all at most, let's say, five well-known person that are interested in that company. And we can define that this is a normal behavior for us. And then we can scan our graph and find an anomaly if something different that our rule happen. And for example, as we remember, the red vertex is a woman, let's say, and green is a man. And in our graph, we can also depict a relationships between male and woman. And let's say that normal behavior in our graph is that woman is married with man. So the red vertex should be next to the green one. And we can see that we can analyze that graph again and if there are two vertex in with color green, like we can see on right top side, it could be an anomaly because there is no red one near the green. And using that logic, we can find another pattern. And using graph, we can find a lot of different relationships, a lot of different behaviors and patterns, and also a lot of anomalies. And we'll be using that knowledge to find that anomalies in our source graph. There is also a second very important technique and very useful in graphs. And this is a connected components. We can see that we have graph with five vertices. There is vertex number zero, one, two, three, and four. We can see that there are two connected components. And so connected component is a group of vertices that are connected with each other. We can see that 0 is connected with 1, 1 with 2, so 0 is also connected with 2, because we can travel from 0 to 2 through 1. And that's why everything inside of that group is connected, and we can call it connected components. And also we have another group. We can see that there is vertex number 3 and 4, and those two vertices are connected with each other, and they form a connected component group but we can see that there is no way to go from that first connected component group to that second. So we are not able to go from vertex number zero to vertex number three, and this could be a problem. So for example, we can have our social network and there is a lot of connected components. So those are a closed circles of friends. So let's say zero is some mic, person with a name Mike, one is Tom, say two is uh, Roger, let's say, and three and four are other like Michael and 
John, for example. And we can see that those form circles of friends are not connected with each other, so they are not able to know each other. And using that fact, we can find out which groups know each other and when is an anomaly. So for example, we can have our social network and we can find out that there is that one person that has only one connected component and that connected component only with our self. And this is not normal situation because we, if you join a social network, you want to have friends. And if you don't have any friends there, it could be potential dangerous, some anomaly or some maybe hacker attack. So we can then delve into this and find out if it is okay or not.